Hey guys, so as you can see, I'm in a completely different place in my room. That is because I'm in the middle of packing stuff. That is why I have no makeup on, that's why I look a state. Um, basically, I was literally just about to pack away all of my Lush stuff and I thought I would just show you guys since I have it all out and I'm just about to pack it away so you probably won't get a chance to see it for a while. So obviously the main thing, the biggest amount of stuff that I have is all the stuff I bought from Lush Oxford Street. Um, I won't go through everything that's in there because I have a whole haul video all about that um, that you can go and see. But also in that bag I have this plastic bag and this is just stuff filled with little sample of Lush stuff. That I totally forgot I had. I found it in a box somewhere um, and it's just loads of little samples of things. Most of the names are washed off so I have no idea what half the stuff is. I have an array of Lush things and then I have my Lush box. So my array is just stuff I found and I'll probably find more stuff lying about or in my like wash bag and things like that. But so this probably isn't all of the stuff. This is just what I've managed to find. So the first thing I've actually lost the top to, but it is the sea spray hair mist, which I got for my birthday a wee while ago. And this is just excellent. It smells glorious. I also have two moisturizers, one shower smoothie in the Turkish Delight and dream cream in hand and body lotion, which is almost finished, which is quite sad. In fact, that is pretty much finished. <laughs> I thought there was a bit more than there than that. So I'll probably be taking that to Lush. I also have the R&B hair moisturizer, which I swear by it makes my hair smell great, keeps it nice and moisturised. Um, I mainly buy it for when I'm going like to a hot country when I go on holidays so I bought this for going to Bermuda um, and I had a pot of this for going to Florida last year and it's just absolutely amazing and I use it anyway but I use it very sparingly because I don't want to use it all. I also have loads of shower jellies. I don't actually use these very often which makes me think of why I even have so many. But I have a huge pot of Sweetie Pie, which I got a while ago. Um, I have a little pot of Sweetie Pie that lives in my wash bag. I have a whoosh, which I don't particularly like the smell of. It's a bit too minty for me, but I think I got it in like a like present box thing. And I also got a pot of gold, which smells absolutely amazing. And I haven't even used any of that yet. <laughs> also lying around and not in any kind of pots, I have, I think this is the Jungle Solid Conditioner. Again, I don't use this very often because I prefer to, to run conditioner through my fingers uh, into my hair uh, rather than using this. This would be better for someone with shorter hair, I'd feel. Um, so I don't use this as often, but it smells really nice, so sometimes I just rub it in anyway. I have a massage bar, which I've never used. Got this for my birthday this year. No idea which one it is. I feel like it's the Earl Grey one or whatever it is, but I have this as well and I also have a tiny little piece of the Sexy Peel Soap um, which I have, I'm using at the moment uh, as you can see which is why it's so small and I've had this for quite a wee while and it smells amazing. And I also have this Vans box which is just full to the brim with random Lush stuff that I have and accumulated over the years. So I will just quickly run through everything that's in here. I have a Phoenix bath bomb which I picked up recently. Um, I have, oh this is a unicorn horn which I actually got free because it was the last one and it was slightly broken so they couldn't sell it. I have a sparkly pumpkin which I'm assuming I've had since last October. I have a Dorothy bubble bar which again I bought very recently. I have all of the testers that I told you all about when I went to Glasgow. I have an array of small metal pots. One is the Kiss lip gloss which I got from the YouTube event I went to. Uh, one is a sample of, this is a fantastic colour of lip gloss lipstick but I always forget that I have it. No idea which one it is but I got it quite a while ago. Uh, not sure if it's still good to use but it's absolutely an amazing colour and um, I hope I'll try and wear it a bit more often but I always forget that I have it. And a cherry pot. I also have two things of fun, one in green and one in red. I have what is left of my solid shampoo of Karma. There is not very much left. I definitely need to buy some more of that. I have a selection of soaps including the Gay is OK. I have a massive piece of, I think this is the Yognog one which I got for half price at Christmas. I have no idea what this one is. I think it's I think it's Honey I Wash the Kids but I'm not too sure. I think I got this in a 
like birthday box thing and some godmother soap which I bought quite recently. I also have a Christmas Eve bubble bar which I haven't used since Christmas and the last three things I have is a half price bottle of rose jam which I bought at Christmas when I was buying the Yognog, some So White which I got in a Christmas box and some Veganese hair shampoo which I bought recently when I was in Glasgow. And the last things I just forgot that I even have was one of these fun boxes from Christmas time that has a green, a gold and a red sample of fun in it as well. Like I said that is not all of my bath products although that is probably the majority of it. I'm sure I will continue to find things other places and if anyone wants a more in detail review of anything that I've shown or just a better look at like what I use for my hair or body lotions or anything like that feel free to comment. Um, I shall continue packing this stuff away um, and I hope you're having a fantastic day.